Okay, I'm back. Uh, you thought we were finished. Nope, not even. Okay, so now that we have, let me go ahead and go down. Let's get right back, right back into it. What I've done is just cut out what we just did. That's all I did. Just cut it out. Next, you're going to get a piece of, um, I have uh, this craft paper. Uh, you could use a paper bag. Um, anything is a little, a little strong. I, I, I have a huge roll of this stuff. So, okay, so there's my edge. There's my top flap, and I and, and I did this wrong. I, I measured one and three quarters. Um, I just rolled up so you can't see it. And my light is sucky today. Pretty bad. But um, I messed up there, and I went ahead and added that extra quarter inch because I only measured one and three quarters here, and it should have been a full two inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer this over to this piece of paper. I'm just going to trace around it. Now I went ahead and went out probably about half an inch all the way around. And the reason I'm doing this is uh, now I've got some play, play room. Let's go ahead and go all the way up here because I didn't give myself any the paper. Paper ran out right there. Now I will straighten all this up. This is just, like I said, just rough. Really rough. <laughs> but the reason I put it on this, this heavier paper, this will become my um, second to last pattern. Um, once it's complete, then I'll transfer it over to acrylic, like I've done with um, a lot, most all my patterns makes it so much easier. So, um, let's watch my uh, really shaky uh, cutting skills. Why we do that? Okay, just trying to focus, but I don't know why it's trying to do that. That's weird. Right. Instead of my shaky. Uh, skills. Let's find a knife. <laughs> I'm a lot better with a knife. If I can find one. Where the heck did I leave my knife? It should be right here. Ah. I knew it was there. So it's really cold in here. <laughs> Our heater is not working currently. And uh, I've got the guys coming out Thursday. I think they do. Um, but yeah, it's a little it's a little toasty. Um, problem is, is I try to put on a jacket and I immediately um, feel like I'm sitting in an oven. So just kind of <laughs> got to deal with it. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is what we've got so far. There's our basic pattern. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my awl. It's got a little, little point there. And I'm going to put 
a little hole right there and a hole right there. That lets me know that's where my stamp, my uh, snaps are going to go. All right. Now to make this just easier to fold, I'm going to go through here and just kind of score it. Well, kind of score through here gently. Makes it easier to fold. Because I'm actually going to wrap this up and see how it looks. That's how I make my patterns. You know, there's no sense in um, <laughs> going on with this mission if, uh, you know. Ah. See, already I, I see a, an issue. Um, the bottom of my pack is here. And because I extended this, that's not the proper size. See, see that, see that, see that? Because if I take my cigarettes and I put them in here, see how much room I've got in there? Now I want a little room, but that's crazy. That's too much. So, And so I thought that's a half an inch, a little shy of half inch. So what I'm going to have to do is trim this back. Was it quite half an inch? Um, let's see, trimming it back to there would be good. And honestly, why don't I do that for him? I'm going to do a lot more fidgeting on this, but I just kind of wanted to show you, you know, this is kind of how I complete these things. This is totally not going to be perfect at all. But what I'm going to do... Do the same up there. Like Daddy said, measure twice, cut once. It's the truth, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's really wonky, but whatever. Like I said, this is, this is just part of my process. I have a process. It may not be a right process, but it's my process. And that's the thing, man. <laughs> just because you don't do it like somebody else does, don't worry about it. You know, are you happy with it? Are you, is your customer happy with it if you're making it for someone else? You know, those are the things that are important. You know. I, I I don't really harp on the how as long as the outcome is what you wanted. You know, you gotta make this pattern two or three times. You know, so you get it just the way you want it. Then, and, and that's generally you know uh, what people do. Uh, it takes time and effort to make these patterns. They're not simple. You know, <laughs> now. Um, if I was computer whiz, I probably could put in the dimensions and boom, there'd be a back pattern. And I know people that do that. Um, not personally. Well, I do actually knew, do know some people personally that do that. But if you, you know, if you don't have that, 
You know, you've got to go back to the old standards. All right, now I'm going to go back through here and rescore this. And yes, there'll be many score lines on this thing, but like I said, it's my process. Uh, I don't have a computer. I'm um, just doing this old school, man. Is I mean, even old school, they probably <laughs> didn't do all this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing it my way. Um, just doing it my way. Frank Sinatra. Thank you, saying that. My way or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, okay, so now let's get our pack back in here. Okay, now, when I look at that, let me turn this so you can see. When I look at that, my cigarette pack has room to go back and forth. Let me darken this so you actually can see. Come on. Uh, this is my fold line. All right. So when I put the pack in there, you see I've got a good eighth of an inch on each side. Um, so, you know, it's not going to be hard to get in and hard to get out. I want something I can just slide it in. And there we go. That works for me. Now, because we did that, we've got this overlap, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and go with. And the reason being, when I pull this up and over, there's my seam allowance. Everything is, everything, that actually worked out. Sometimes it happens that way. It's pretty cool. <laughs> now, I'm going to give myself just a little bit, that eighth of an inch right there. Let's put this against the line so I'm kind of in 90 and that's another thing you know if you don't have a square now I do have a square um, but if you don't have one handy you know I've got this I've got several of them I've got this little jobber you know they'll all do the job but this is a square use it that's what I'm, I'm talking about you know you can just Use what you got. Use what you got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a pin. I'm going to uh, cut this part out all the way across. So that's going to be gone. Now I am going to get this a little bit more aligned because I thought that that would look bad. And also, too, because I'm going to be cutting it. Let's just get this out of the way. I'm just following my crease up. is the bottom. I was wondering what, what what's going on there. Okay, so got our seam allowance. This side might be trimmed a bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and crease that there just to where. Okay, and I'm also gonna do this under. If it's there, I'm good. Goes in and out really nice. You know. And so this will be, I'm going to go ahead and pull this all the way down to the bottom. This here, this here. And put my crease in. There's my bottom. All right. Uh, you know, I think that's actually my top. That is my top. This has got to be the bottom. There we go. <laughs> oh, there we 
we go, there we go, there it is. So that right there is not our final, but pretty close to the final thing. Now, when I, what I noticed is when I went and did this number, you see this hole is here? You can't see that. Let me circle it. Where's that hole? This is this hole. They don't match. When I, when I go down to here, I've got, let's see, show you here. And honestly, I'm going to go with this measurement and I'm going to put the snap right there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. See, this one was no good. No bueno. So by just pulling this flap down and putting it where it's supposed to go, putting my pen pencil through there, making that mark, now I have an area for where there's where my snap, snap's going to be. All right. Now let's get into, I don't like, I'm not really crazy about this, this here. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> so that it's kind of, I want it to look kind of seamless. I'm going to come from this edge to here and I'll probably kind of do this number to it like a little semicircle or whatever you call that arch yeah arch <coughs> uh, give me a second guys gotta get the inhaler Yes, I know. I smoke and I have asthma. I'm not too brilliant. You know, you could throw some prayers my way that I would figure out how to quit. Oh. I guess I fi figured I was done with the scissors. I don't know where they are, but I'm just going to go ahead and kind of freehand this. Just to give you a figure, let's look, see what it is. Okay. And this one, um, I think I said it was just a little bit long. It's kind of, we're just going to come down through here. Just take a little bit off. That's not straight at all, but. There we go. That's a little bit better. Because I'm going to make this again before, I'm, right now, I'm just fitting it, basically. Uh, once this is fitted, then I'm going to redo this in the proper dimensions, squared, all the pretty curves and the whole nine um, before I go to the leather. But, um, so now let's wrap this back up. Let's see what we did. That looks good. We'll bring our bottom over. <clears throat> that looks good. This is actually going to be this way. There we go. And there's that. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to be rounding off this corner. I'm giving it a just a kind of a half round there, rounding that off. The next thing I need to do because I'm going to have my um, cigarette holder in the back. Uh, this is one that I. This is a keychain. Uh, let's see. When you need it, it's never there. For it's this one's actually wet mold. Uh, to fit a big lighter 
and um, there we go. So all I really actually have to do is copy this instead of this. I'm not going to do the full round. Um, and that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to cut a piece without this tab straight down here, straight up there. Um, and instead of this being here, I'll be making a piece, I'll be cutting out this so that I can get it with my hand and pull it out. It's also not going to be this tall. Uh, it doesn't need to be this tall. Actually, I would kind of prefer it to be out just a little bit maybe. Well, no. Yeah. I think it should be down here below the cigarettes. Below. Because that way, well, I mean, you have to strike it and get the gas, but just safety-wise, I think that should be down right about, let's see, right about there. Just kind of pencil that in. There we go. And that will be the holder on the back. And of course I am going to come out when I make the piece, when, when I make the piece that goes here, I am going to come out to probably about here. So again, seam allowance. You need to always make sure that you allow for that. So get your seam allowance in there. Oh, this lighting is horrible. I'm so sorry about this. I'm going to be rearranging everything, so hopefully the lighting will improve. So that'll be my um, lighter holder area. Now, this pretty much completes what I'm doing. Um, the video series, my series, it's only two. Because my next thing is just to square everything up, transfer this to another piece of paper, um, obviously make this area here and um, that'll be it. Now when you're sewing this, and this is meant for leather, but I guess you could use canvas or whatever you'd like, but a little tip, do this first. Once you get this all cut out, get all your pieces together, do this first. I'm telling you from experience, do this first. Because once you have these sides done, hopefully you'll you'll snap when you just get one snide, side. I did, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, but it was still kind of hard to get in here and stitch this because with a sewing machine, you're not going to be able to do it. I don't think, well, if you were using canvas or something, you might be able to swish it out of your, this out of the way. But with leather, it's not so easy. Um, takes some finagling. So stitch this on first. Then flip it over and finish up your stitching. Add your snaps. Um, with this one, because this it doesn't completely close, like there's not leather here. You can act, you can get away with not doing the snap before you put it all together. So you'll have plenty of room to get your um, hole punch. <laughs> Sorry, brain just went crazy. Um, get your hole punch in there. Now, if you don't have a hole punch uh, and you're using like one of these. You know, this is this is actually a hole punch. Also, you can now. This is something that I do, and I have them here. These are, well, this one's been pulled off of something else, but um, so I'll just, you know, kind of wedge something in there, and 
use that that punch to do my hole. Uh, obviously, this is too tall, <laughs> way too tall. But if I only had one of these, it'd be pretty much the perfect height. But just something, you know. Um, I have wooden pieces laying around. You may not. Uh, you may. <laughs> I don't know. If you're crafty, you probably do. So, but anyway, once you're finished, get your other pattern done. You know, square everything up. Cut everything out. Do this first. Do your cigarette pouch first. <laughs> I can't emphasize that enough. Then go for and and the rest of it. Um, you know, do your stitches up through here. Um, and add your snap, and there you are. So um, that's my take on how to make a pattern and uh, how to. Um, you know the steps that it takes because like I said this is not the end this now has to get scored up uh, transferred to another piece um, again fitted um, I fit every step except for the first step but uh, which I pretty much did when I was tracing it out and so um, so there's one step there's the second step then you make the other one, the clean pattern. Uh, there's another step. Then you finally take that to your leather. And it may come out great. The first time, it may just, oh, you nailed it. And it may not. So you may have to come to, back to the drawing board. And that's the process of, making, of designing um, your own step, of making a pattern for something, you know, and a lot of people seem to struggle with this and so that's why I made this video um, it, it shouldn't be a struggle you know just slow down you know um, like I emphasize the back pocket on this thing um, I that's definitely by experience I've, I've done it <laughs> wasn't fun and um, but just slow down take your time you know it's not a race uh, it's you, you can do this you, you know if, if you want um, I don't know whatever it is you want that it's like I wonder if I could make that well you probably can you know go on down and Get you, uh, you know, go to one of the shops and look around and see, you know, don't buy a whole lot to start with. Just something small and put your hand to it, you know. You'd be surprised. You might be able to do something. Do, you might surprise yourself. I constantly hear people say that they're not creative and, um, you know, they can't draw. Yeah, you can. You just... I use stencils and then go from the stencils on. Um, I used to not use stencils, but I'm kind of shaky nowadays, so I use my stencils. And then I add to those stencils and then I personalize. And so there's all kinds of ways you can be creative. And it doesn't have to be art. It can be, I don't know, building stuff. Um, I'm an okay builder. But I know some people that are truly artists when it comes to building stuff. And uh, so, you know, I guess just find your passion and have fun with it. So anyway, whatever. I talk a lot. Everybody have a great day. Um, oh, I actually went over on this one. Bye.